Hello and welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Lore. Today we're going to stick on the whole theme of October, which is spooky, creepy episodes of Power Rangers. Now this one is coming from you, coming to you from Power Rangers in Space, The Brilliant Sting. Yes, The Brilliant Sting is a really good episode. It's really scary in many ways for a kid. For us looking back on it, not, it's not that scary, but it's still got some really good creepy vibes to it. And as you go back, you can call back some of what they're calling off of. Now let's go. Carlos has been stung by this brilliant bug, and they're not certain if it's the brilliant bug to begin with until Andros basically figures out what's going on here, has various symptoms, and goes, we need to go back to my home planet. They have a cure for it. Well, Carlos is starts with this little infection in his hand, and it slowly spreads through his entire body, giving this, all his veins purplish hues. You can be able to see him through his body. His eyes are rolled back, and he's sweating profusely. This guy is definitely sick. He might even die. That, that's the first time in a ranger you, like, you've ever seen a ranger this messed up, and it's not just from a battle. And then all of a sudden it goes from him and focuses in on his DNA sequence on the machine, and it's slowly it's watching it break slowly apart, and you hear this chitinous mucus metamorphosis sound happening going on there, and the next scene it just flashes roll back over to him, and now Carlos has a hand that's definitely insectoid, it's covered in slime, and it's just perfect for this episode of, of the scary theme. The rangers come running back and they're hearing a, this ruckus and they find Carlos gone in a hole. A hole in none other than the ventilation shaft. Now there's mucus left over behind where he's crawled through and the rangers are going, we gotta hurry up. They go looking for Carlos first off to see if they can trap him again. Well, things get a little messy. They end up not trapping him. They aren't able to shoot him because he's hiding in the engine room and then they jump and he uh, stings Cassie in the neck, which infects her too. They end up tying her up and leaving her in the room going, we need to get that cure. Ashley's left to guard the bridge alone. And that's when things get worse for them because Ashley is uh, doesn't want to shoot her friends when they come pouring in to take her, lifting up the insides of the ship, pulling apart the ship from the inside out and going after her. Right when they're about to sting her, none other than TJ shows up with the cure. Now, really good episode. It has a really interesting stylization with there with the horror type things. You get a little bit of the flat Jeff Goldblum's fly. You have the sweeping empty corridors that they have for like that is the intro to the alien movie. If you watch the original trailer for that, you don't see any of the alien. You just see the empty corridors and the sounds and all the the mucus sounding, the, the metamorphosis going on there, the ripping, the stunning, the turning around and seeing like it's gone or the destruction or Cassie's like all the restraints broke on there. It's really good. It's kind of says the horror themed and it's, it's a little dark there going on. I, I love it. Like they're even like jumping at like Decca doing her own job in the ship going like, what are you, who are you? And it's like, Decca, I am the data da, 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 da. like it's really good I, I love this episode it's really really good it's not the full dark and horror thing that they could if they could have toned down some of the colors and like made him go after the power like shut it down slightly well, after they got to the planet of kl35 it would add more to the horror scene but i can say they didn't want to scare kids too much i don't know let me know what you guys think i thought it was a fantastically creepy episode for you guys and it's just one of the few to come thank you very much guys have a good one and may the power protect you always Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe at the end of this video. Uh, all your likes help me out, and all of your watchers do too. Thank you very much, guys. I really like to discuss with you guys what your topics are. May the power protect you always.